Hi geeks, welcome to Today in History, your daily dose of fun facts, conspiracies, and all that good stuff. Tuesday, December 15th. On December 15th, on the year 37 AD, Lucius Domitius Ahenobarbus was born, but you might know him better by his emperor name, Nero. Nero is one of Rome's most famous emperors in history, an honor that it seems he earned with a megalomaniac personality and a cruel and tyrannical reign. Oh, Nero, where to start? To be fair, it seems that his reign started pretty well while he was being consul by his tutor, Seneca. However, his mother kept trying to control him, especially after he started an affair with a former slave and then decided to divorce his wife, Octavia, who was the daughter of his stepfather, the former emperor Claudius. His mother even started supporting his half-brother as new emperor, but Nero got tired and ended all that crap. His half-brother died suddenly, just the day before he was to be proclaimed an adult, most probably poisoned, and his mother did not last much more because Nero ordered for her to be killed soon after. After her mother, Nero's reign grew much darker. Oh yes, we're just starting. He's supposedly blamed with killing his first wife, Octavia, and his second wife, Savina Popea, while pregnant, for which he felt great remorse. Well, that's until he glanced upon a young man, Sporus, who resembled Sabina in looks. What did he do, you ask? Well, he had him castrated and went through a marriage ceremony, dressing him in empress clothes and giving him the nickname Sabina. Okay. Nero also had an homosexual relationship with a young actor named Paris, and that would be no problem on my side if only he had not killed him because he got jealous of his acting ability. Oh my god. Then, besides all this, he crushed any perceived disloyalty or criticism. He spent a fortune on his artistic career because he thought he was a poet and singer star. And he is credited as the first emperor to persecute Christians, burning many of them alive after he blamed them for the great fire of Rome. A fire which, by the way, many suspect Nero himself instigated in order to clear space for his new palace. Wow, seriously, these Romans make Game of Thrones characters look like saints. So, that's all for today. Hope you like it. If you need more, check out the full Next Week in History video or just wait patiently because we will have a new video tomorrow. Please like, share and subscribe and remember, with coconuts, be happy, have fun and let's go Pats. See you later geeks!